children, and these are my dogs, Dazzle and Peanut. We're going to introduce you to the canine sport of agility. Agility is a fast sport that builds communication between dogs and their handlers. The goal of the sport is to successfully complete a numbered obstacle course. The handler must direct the dog through the course as quickly and flawlessly as possible. The jump. There are different jump height divisions depending on the height of the dog. The dog has to clear the jump. The dog gets faulted if they knock down the bars. The tunnel. The dog has to go into the tunnel and come out the other side. The dog gets faulted for going partially in the tunnel and then coming back out the same entrance. The shoot. The dog must go into the barrel and then push through the fabric and come out the other end. The dog gets faulted for going partially into the barrel and coming back out the same entrance. The pause table. The dog must jump up onto the table and go into either a sit or a down position. The dog must then stay there for five seconds as counted by the judge. When the judge says go, the dog may leave the table and continue running the course. If the dog either changes position or leaves the pause table before the judge says go, the dog is faulted. The dog walk. The dog must go over the long planks and get at least one paw in the yellow contact zone at the end. The dog gets faulted for jumping off early and missing the contact zone. The apron. The dog must go up and over the apron and get at least one paw in the yellow contact zone at the end. The dog gets faulted for jumping off early and missing the contact zone. The teeter-totter. The dog must go up the teeter-totter and then ride it all the way down until it hits the ground and get at least one paw in the yellow contact zone. The dog gets faulted for leaving the teeter-totter early or not hitting the contact zone. The weave poles. The weave poles have one official entrance. The dog must enter with their left shoulder to the right side of the first pole and then serpentine through them to completion. The dog gets faulted for entering the poles incorrectly or for leaving them early. Now that you know each of the obstacles, I'll show you how it's all put together in a course. The judge sets up a course and places numbers next to each obstacle. In each trial, there are skill levels. One common progression is from novice to open to elite. Open is the common word for an intermediate difficulty. The handler gets to walk the course for about 10 minutes before the competition starts. The dog is not allowed onto the course until runtime. When the dog and handler go out on the course, they set up at the start line. The clock starts when the dog crosses the start line. The handler gives direction to the dog with either voice commands, hand signals, or body motions. The timer stops when the dog crosses the finish line. If the dog completes the course with zero faults and under the official course time, the run is called a Q, which stands for qualifying run. After completing several cues, a dog can earn a title certificate. Now, let's watch it all together at a real trial.
all out on the agility course someday.